Hi everyone, Pete here. Um, just jumping on to make a video about a blog post I recently wrote about having an attitude for gratitude. And I think we all know what uh, you know gratitude is and what being grateful is, but I want to uh, show you some practical things that you can do and some of the things that I do to, to be grateful because it really is a great way to start your day um, and also to be used throughout the day as well. So for example, every morning when I wake up, I've got it here. I write one page of everything that I'm grateful for. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick example. So I start the page off by saying, thank you universe, I'm so grateful for. And the first thing I pretty much always put on there is waking up being healthy. Okay, that's the first thing I put on there. I put there Nate being healthy, that's my son, and Jenny being healthy, that's my partner. So they're normally the first three things I put on there because that's, you know, that's the most important in our health. I've got other things on there as well, like clean sanitation, clean hot running water, living in a peaceful, abundant country, uh, safe riding roads, uh, my, my work, my bike, uh, my son's nursery, just, just stuff that I'm grateful for every day. Um, it really is a good exercise to do, and I've learned to do it by habit now. Uh, when I have breakfast, I write out my page of being grateful. But the, uh, the exercise that I mentioned in the blog post is a, is a good one as well, um, which I don't write down as much anymore because I have it mostly in my head. But when you do start off doing this exercise, it is a really good idea to uh, make it into a habit. And to make it into a habit, start off by writing it down. It will only take like two, two minutes to write it down, even less than that. And that is to get yourself a sticky note like this. Okay. And just write down the first five things that you did in the morning when you got up. Okay, so here's my five. Number one, got out of bed. Number two, turn the light on in the bathroom. Pretty simple. Number three, too much information, use the toilet. Number four, had a hot shower. And number five, walked downstairs and had breakfast. Now they're uh, very five basic things. Uh, I think a lot of people in the first world do every single day. Or maybe not walk downstairs, but I'm pretty sure you... Uh, you know, use uh, the amenities and and uh, and have breakfast. Now, that's one part of the exercise. The second part is the most important part. Now, this part, um, I do recommend to write down to get into a habit of making into a thought process. But once you make it into a thought process, you can do the thought process when you're you know commuting to work, whilst you're in the car on the train, uh, when you're doing your exercising and you're going for a run or at the gym, uh, or even throughout the day when um, you know even if you want to keep it on a sticky note and keep that sticky note you know stuck to your phone or even just put it on your phone um, but put it somewhere where it's prominent because it might need a reminder in the day and the thing is this for every one of those five things uh, give reasons or many reasons why it is good to be grateful for example I'll, I'll give my example number one got out of bed a lot of people don't have a bed they don't sleep on beds okay if you live in the first world I think you take that for granted a lot I know I do, and I had to um, really remind myself when I did some traveling, I saw things, you know, people who were less fortunate, and I can get out of bed, you know, I don't have a crippling disease, um, I'm quite healthy to get out of bed, I have no pain that forces me to stay in bed, so I'm very, very grateful for that, not everyone can do that. Number two, I turned the light on in the bathroom, I turned the light on, I literally flicked on a switch and a light came on, I have electricity running to my house. Now, a lot of people do have that, but not everyone does, Okay. And not everyone has their own bathroom. Some people share a bathroom. Some people have to go outside to, you know, to use a toilet and things like that. So just having your own bathroom is a very good reminder that living in the first hole, we're very, very lucky. Number three, again, too much information, you use a toilet. But, you know, uh, not having sanitation is a big, big reason in many developing countries why people do become very sick. And unfortunately, they do pass on and they, and they die. Okay, so be thankful that for that small thing of, uh, you know, we all do it. So just be thankful that we do have clean sanitation and we have the, you know, the ability and the resources to clean that as well, to, to keep it clean. And if something goes wrong, we have the, the tradespeople uh, and the resources to get that fixed. Okay, number four, I had a hot shower. Okay, I have, have my own shower, which I can literally turn on a tap and hot water comes out of it. I don't have to boil the water. I don't have to walk many miles to get the water. Okay, um, I'm using clean water to clean myself as well. Again, another big reason why people do get sick in developing countries is that they do have water, but it's not as clean as ours. It doesn't go through a filter system like it does in all our towns and cities. So we're very lucky there. 
And number five, I walked downstairs and had breakfast. So I had the ability to walk downstairs, okay? Not everyone can, can walk or walk without pain and had breakfast. I had an abundance of food where I can eat three meals a day. I can snack in between if I want to, okay? I have shops close by where I can go buy more food. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to grow my own food, but it is fun to grow your own food. But the point I'm trying to make is that these things that we take for granted every single day, we can be grateful for. So... You know, how can you use it during your day is that if you're having a bad day, you think, well, you know, this is happening to me or this person is speaking this way. I may be going through a bit of anxiety. But, you know, these five essentials, which I do every single morning, I can continue to do every single morning because I'm so lucky and I'm so grateful that I can do it. Okay, I hope this exercise is beneficial to you. You find value from it. Um, if you do like uh, the work I'm doing, uh, click like, um, subscribe. I'll make some more videos, of course. And in the description below, I'll put a link to the actual blog post as well. Hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you next time.